look at that, look at that, look at that, look at that. Whoa! Oh my god! Hello everybody, how are you all doing? Hope you're having a great day today. Today we will be updating our gunner build for Pathogen DLC. Starting with the abilities. The gunner's first ability is Overclock. This ability greatly increases the team's fire rate and also increases your reload speed. This ability is great if you need that extra burst to take something down quickly. Next is Frag Grenade, but we'll be taking the Remote Detonator Replacer perk for it. It latches onto the intended target, whether that be a wall or a Xeno, and can be detonated on command. Personally, I still find this to be the best out of the three replacer perks we currently have. The gunner's passive is Stay on Target and grants the gunner a 2% damage buff when dealing damage. This buff stacks up to 10 times for a total of 20% extra weapon damage and falls off one stack at a time when you stop dealing damage. Before we head up the perk grid, only a small percentage of people who watch my videos are subscribed. Please consider hitting that subscribe button, would really help out a small YouTuber like myself. Thanks. When we head into the perk grid, we can see the Remote Detonator Replacer perk on the Frag Grenade. The second perk we'll be taken for the Frag Grenade will be the Disorienting Blast perk. The combination of Remote Detonator with Disorienting Blast gives us the ability to knock down twice since the grenade also knocks down when you stick it to an enemy. For Overload, we have the Quick Load Inlink perk. This perk extends your reload speed to your allies and that's a big boost to your team's burst. Overclock will only last for 9 seconds with this build, so make every second count and don't have your allies lose valuable seconds reloading. And in order to use our abilities more often, we'll be taking the target's acquired perk for our stay on target passive. This perk greatly increases our ability's recharge speed when at full stacks of stay on target. Aside from that, we can help the team deal even more damage by taking focus fire with us. Focus Fire causes the enemy to gain a stacking debuff in which they receive 2% more damage for each stack. This debuff can stack up to 5 times, increasing the team's damage by another 10% on that target. Taking Overwhelming Fire stuns the target if you damage them while they have 5 stacks of Focus Fire on them. The stun lasts for about 2 seconds, giving you an easier time to shoot them in the weak spots. It's also a great way of getting a Prowler off of your teammates. Combine this perk with down and out and you'll get some nice burst damage out of it as well. See it this way. You're shooting the enemy and after 6 hits, you'll be doing 10% more damage because of focus fire, 12% more damage because of stay on target, and they'll be stunned, activating the 20% extra damage from down and out. That's 42% extra damage at the beginning of the stun. And during the stun, you'll cap out on your stay on target, dealing 50% extra damage by the end of the stun duration. By the time stun ends, enemies like Prowlers and Bursters are likely already dead, if not, they'll be in a lot of trouble. And not only that, but down and out also procs on your remote detonator. Twice! Once when you pin an enemy with it, and again when you detonate. Now that's a lot of burst damage, and we're not even done yet. Since the primary way to deal damage in this game is by using your weapons, I highly recommend taking perks with you that enhance your primary weapon's effectiveness. So take the Recon Rifle training for more max ammo and weak point damage, the Dock Rifle expertise for even more weak point damage, the added stability is a nice plus, Gunner Rifle Mastery for even more weak point damage, the added accuracy is a nice plus, Gunner Rifle expertise for more fire rate and stability, the faster you fire, the higher your DPS and a Recon Rifle Expertise for more fire rate, stability, and accuracy. Let's add all of this up for a second. When everything procs, we'll get 20% extra max ammo, 25% extra fire rate, 25% extra accuracy, 40% extra stability, 45% extra weak point damage, and up to 50% extra damage while greatly increasing our ability's recharge speed. But that's not all. We're also giving our team 10% extra damage through focus fire, a stun through overwhelming fire, two knockdowns through the use of our grenades, and an overclock with a greatly increased reload speed. When it comes to weapons, I highly recommend an automatic weapon with both a high fire rate and a high damage potential while overclocking. The reason for this is because of our passives. The faster your gun fires, the faster you'll gain your stay on target buffs, and the faster you'll apply your focus fire debuffs on the enemy, and the faster you'll stun them, 
and gain your reduced cooldown. After calculating every gun in both weapon slots during an overclock, I can conclude that the best weapons for the gunner's primary are the plasma rifle, followed by the Kramer, and the heavy assault. The Sokol is a good alternative, but only when calculating the potential total crit damage of the weapon during an overclock. For the plasma rifle, we'll be rocking the compensator for more fire rate. Remember, the faster you fire, the higher your DPS. A rapid dispersal unit for more reload speed. The faster you reload, the faster you get back into the fight. And a laser sight for more accuracy, weak point damage, and the ability to reveal targets on hit. Revealing targets on hit procs your recon's red is dead perk, giving you and your team 10% additional damage. For the Kramer, take the assault break for more fire rate, accuracy, and stability. Compound magazine for more reload speed, magazine capacity, and fire rate on hit. And a hybrid sight for more accuracy and weak point damage. For the heavy assault, go with the assault break and combat magazine for the reasons specified earlier, and a laser sight for the ability to reveal targets. And for the so called, go with the counterbalanced break to increase fire rate, combat magazines for the reasons explained earlier, and a tactical scope so you can reveal targets as well. Bear in mind though that the tactical scope does decrease your field of vision when aiming down sights. It'll take some getting used to, but alternatively, you can go with the digital scope. Just know that the digital scope cannot reveal targets. When looking at the CQWs, we can see that it does a lot more damage than the rifles. So when you're about to overclock, just wait a little bit longer, have the enemy get a little bit closer, and then switch to your CQW when you overclock. When looking at the damage charts, there is only one clear winner and that is the auto shotgun, although the scattergun is a nice alternative. Yes, I know, I know, the pump shotty deals a lot of damage and can even one-shot runners on insane, but when it comes to overclocking, it just loses a lot of potential damage because of its reload mechanic. I recommend sticking to something that reloads your magazine quickly. For the auto shotgun, go with the assault break, compound magazine, and hybrid sight. And if you're going for the scattergun, take the compensator, compound magazine, and hybrid sight. And for consumables, always go with a cryo grid for more CC, and a vulnerability assessment drone for more team white DPS. If someone else is taking drones, you can swap yours out for a hardened electroshock turret. They are arguably better than their incendiary counterparts because they can briefly stun enemies. And that's the new and improved Big Black- Are you serious? Uh, hmm. Uh, I had some people not agreeing with the previous naming for my gunner, so I changed it. It is now the Mammoth Mach 2. The MK stands for motherfucking cool. And if you've ever played Tiberian Sun, you'll know that this armored elephant is capable of destroying everything in sight just like this build. Please enjoy the new build, and if you want to see more Aliens Fireteam Elite, be sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so that you never miss another upload. And I'll see you when I see you.